Who's ready for a little Christmas story time with Adam Cole, baby? I want this holiday tale in particular to end with Inferno no longer as TNT Champion. And as far as I remember back, the turnover time between Inferno becoming number one contender and facing me for the title last time was less than a week. So I see no reason why I don't deserve my TNT title rematch tonight and why Omega doesn't deserve his title rematch tonight. Oh, hang on just a minute, Adam Cole. You may just get your wish for the championship matches because here comes one half of that championship duo you called out. None other than the flame sword and the current TNT champion, Dante Inferno, is here on Dynamite. And while it may be an icy and cold winter's day outside here in Minneapolis, it is about to be as heated as ever inside the squared circle between Dante Inferno and Adam Cole. Listen, I don't know about the world title scene, that's Hangman's business and that's Kenny's business right now, but what I do know, Cole, is that I'm going to flip your little story time chapter thing back on your dome piece. I'm bringing back a little classic of mine, the Inferno Invitational. Except with a little twist, I invite anyone to face Adam Cole here tonight, and if you beat that man or woman, Cole, then I'll give you your rematch next week at New Year's Smash. If you lose, then I might just go ahead and give them the title shot. I have the power now, baby. But the question is, who is going to answer the Inferno in the Oh, 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 oh my goodness me, it's none other than simply better Aaron Matthews. And while it's been a rather sporadic career so far for Aaron Matthews, he's had other commitments while he's been on the AEW roster, but this is one place to make another return here on Dynamite. We already saw him teaming up to form the Simply Better Flames as part of that story time chapter with Dante Inferno, and now he's back here. We could potentially see Aaron Matthews face his former tag team partner Dante Inferno if Aaron Matthews can beat Adam Cole here live on Dynamite in one of our colossal main events. And now Aaron Matthews here, certainly caught, oh my god, an Enziguri, I was about to say he's caught everyone off guard, but that Enziguri caught Adam Cole off guard, I'm sure he wasn't expecting to see Aaron Matthews, we've only seen Aaron Matthews a few times here in AEW, and he certainly made an impact every time we've seen him, but he could make no bigger impact in his AEW career thus far than tonight, if he can go ahead and beat Adam Cole, and become what I would imagine, I mean, given what Inferno was saying, he becomes the number one contender for the TNT Championship, this isn't an official number one contender's match, it's essentially if Adam Cole wins, then he will be uh, getting his match next week at New Year's Smash against Inferno, as Inferno said. But Inferno also said, and it's key to remember, he said if the main, uh, if the man or woman that uh, faces Adam Cole here beats Adam Cole, then he might just give them a TNT Championship match as well. And so the stakes are certainly high for these two men right here. Essentially, an unofficial number one contenders match for the TNT Championship on Adam Cole right here. On oh, hang on a second, he's going into a cover. He's going oh. <laughs> AM with the ring awareness to put his boot on the rope and break the castle. Wow. I was about to say there a moment ago, this could be really unlucky number 13, really unlucky episode number 13 for Adam Cole. If after his great week last week beating Hangman Adam Page and Inferno in that tag match, beating both the champions, if he goes ahead and loses to a returning AM right here, and AM, oh my god, the pain like kick to the back of the head. Now Aaron Matthews, oh wait a second there, nice counter by Adam Cole, and now the Irish ship sending Aaron Matthews into the corner. But Aaron Matthews won with the swiftness, always has been, always will be. Oh my god, what a move. Now Aaron Matthews looking to fly here. They're simply better one with the 450. With the 450 to Adam Cole going into the cover right there. But it was a little too lackadaisical. And Adam Cole managing to kick out if it was a little bit faster. I think AM might have done it right there. But that's the thing with those 450 splashes. Sometimes you hit it a little too hard and it takes the wind out of you. It's almost an indirect uh, damage to yourself and oh my god the flapjack dropping Adam Cole on the top row and Adam Cole now with the with the fist right there but AM fighting back and now AM with the woo chop Adam Cole and AM go oh my god
god, what the what, what a super kick that was. Caught him on the jaw and the snap German as well. The snap German. Oh, but AM um, managing to get out of that straight jacket snap German there from Adam Cole. Action so fast and furious, it's hard to call. But nevertheless, AM um, still wrestling back and forth. A oh my god, what a wicked kick. You heard that one. And AM um, saying it's Dunzo for Shunzo. Adam Cole is in the corner, and Adam Cole clearly rocked. Here we go. Going for the knee, but doesn't connect that time. And now Adam Cole. Irish whip to the outside, or at least on the apron. And what the hell is Adam Cole thinking here live in one of our colossal main events on Dynamite in Minnesota? Oh my god! The apron DDT spike at Aaron Matthews. And this one might be over before it's even gone underway. This is our Christmas winter edition of AEW Dynamite. We've got two huge main events. This is one of them. The open challenge, the infernal invitational for Adam Cole, and another one coming up next. But for AM, the only thing he's getting for Christmas right now is a concussion, courtesy of Adam Cole. And now Adam Cole, here we go. Elbow, but it doesn't connect. AM is still in the game. AM is still in the game. Went for the bicycle kick right there. Didn't take down Adam Cole, but the snap mess certainly does. And now AM knows. Oh, he knows what he's doing in that ring. He has a strategy. And now he's waiting for Adam Cole, taunting Adam Cole here live on Dynamite. And now Matthews waiting for Adam Cole to get up again. Aaron Matthews, oh, he was running in right there, but he got caught right there. Cole with the elbow to the knee, but Aaron Matthews with another counter. Cole with a counter, getting out of dodge. These two men face facing off for the first time ever in their respective careers and the stakes do not get any higher than this oh my god the stop to the back of the head I mean for AM to come back to AEW here tonight come back to Dynamite and enter himself into the situation this brewing situation between his friend Dante Inferno and of course Adam Cole as well and the TNT Championship just makes things even more interesting as we head towards the new year here on Dynamite new year here in AEW oh my god the back Backstabber from Adam Cole. Cole is not playing any games. He wants the championship back. He wants his baby back, baby back, baby back. Oh my god, dropping him like a stack of dimes. But AM is in the ropes once again in this match. I'd also like to make a little bit of an announcement mid-episode here to say that there's been a bit of a change, a bit of a programming note. This is now episode 12 and not episode 13. So perhaps it's not so unlucky for Adam Cole after all. And now Adam Cole, oh wait a second, he's gonna go for that last shot. Last shot connect. On Aaron Matthews, oh my god, but he still kicks out of it. If there's anyone just as resilient as Dante Inferno, it's the man that is simply better than the rest. The wicked last shot, the boom straight to the head, and it was not enough, at least not yet. The super kick doesn't connect there, but now Adam Cole with the counter back and forth we go. What is turning into an absolute classic? One of our colossal main events here on Dynamite. Adam Cole looking to get back to the big time, get back to the TNT Championship, going for another super kick right there, the hit straight to the face, bit of a cheap shot, went for another super kick, there is no super kick party in the household of Aaron Matthews, well now it may be all she wrote because Adam Cole is lining up AM for the last shot right there, Aaron Matthews with the simply better knee, with the simply better knee, just clocked Cole straight out, Cole, oh my goodness me, look at that, that's a message sent, signed and delivered, and Aaron Matthews is waiting for Cole to get up again, now look at this, Aaron Matthews is lining him up for you know what another simply better knee oh no another counter by Adam Cole spiking Aaron Matthews again after that simply better knee but AM is still alive how the hell are these two men still going another counter by Aaron Matthews in the knee Matthews is one simply better knee away from facing his friend Dante Inferno going for a super kick and again Aaron Matthews right now is in control the question is can he put it away? Can Aaron Matthews book himself a ticket to the TNT Championship? Oh my god, there is nobody better in this business at using his knees than AM. And now AM picking up Adam Cole, perhaps looking for one decisive. Oh, here we go. AM turning him over. Scorpion Deathlock locked in, paying homage to another man on the AEW roster. The Deathlock is locked in. But no, AM not a man, not managing to, to tap out Adam Cole right there, bringing out a classic. A Another elbow, Adam Cole is rocked, simply better knee, another simply better knee, and if Cole didn't have a concussion before, he certainly has one now, three, back to back to back, 
simply put on knees as AM goes into the cover on Adam Cole 2. Three, Aaron Matthews is headed to New Year's Smash. A man that claims he is simply better than the rest has got the job done. And you heard what Inferno said. He said whoever answers the Inferno Invitational to face Adam Cole, if you beat Cole, you might just go ahead and get yourself a TNT title match. And I think that's exactly what AM has just booked himself for in the future. Oh my god, we are about to run it up and run it up good at night one of New Year's Smash. Simply better Aaron Matthews against the flame sword Dante Inferno for the TNT Championship. What an absolute banger that is going to be. He was about to feel an Inferno Overdrive AM turning it on a dime. And now Aaron Matthews, oh my goodness me, he's gonna go, there it is. Aaron Matthews connects with it for the first time in AEW. And Inferno has gotta be out cold now. Oh, hang on a second, Adam Cole, oh, he felt the simply better knee. And Aaron Matthews is still not done here. Inferno has been rocked and he felt another simply better knee from the man that has always said he is simply better than the rest. The knee has just uh, absolutely decimated the TNT champion. And now Aaron Matthews into the cover and AM is TNT champion. Oh my god. An absolute classic here. New Year Smash Night 1 and by god we've got a new champion and what a way to win the title. It was a simply better knee party there towards the end but take nothing away from Cole or Inferno. That was an absolute war but in the end the man that has said since the beginning I am simply better than the rest has just thrown a spanner in the works between Adam Cole and Dante Inferno's rivalry because now AM is at the top of the mountain and he is TNT champion for the first time in his career and as the year comes to a close here in AEW now that Aaron Matthews is champion what is next here in all elite wrestling